It has been over a year since a new chapter of Lamar Johnson's life began. Last year, he was exonerated after spending 28 years in prison for a murder a court determined he did not commit. Now Johnson is embarking on a new journey, one that will now give him the chance to serve the public. Our Kimberly Donahue joins us in studio with more about the new job Johnson, Johnson will soon start. Kim? Corey, since his release last February, Lamar Johnson has been finding excitement in everyday things like driving and spending holidays with family. Tomorrow, he'll start working for the city of Delwood thanks to help from an urban league program aiming to give people second chances. I kind of feel like uh, I'm ready to hit the ground running. Um, and I want to work, try to rebuild my life. Those next steps are coming for Lamar Johnson, more than a year after he was free from prison. Exonerated from a crime he long maintained he didn't commit. Johnson will start work Wednesday in the Public Works Department for the city of Delwood. Lamar is a sharp individual. I mean, he's, he's ready. He's ready to work. He's, he's kind of, you know, those 28 years, I think he's taking those 28 years and really um, it, it, he's learned how to use that in a positive manner. Delwood Mayor Reggie Jones says he sought people like Johnson for the position. Because this is a guy who has some resilience. I mean, if you're locked up for 28 years for something you did not do, it takes a lot to come out and not be bitter. Jones tells First Alert 4 he looked to the Urban League's Save Our Sons program for applicants. It's a four-week-long job training course aiming to help economically disadvantaged black men find jobs and earn livable wages. Johnson completed the program just last month and was a standout student. So what stood out, I think, his eagerness, right? His eagerness to begin to learn and to get himself back acclimated into the community. Tydrell Stevens, the program's regional director, says while connecting students to resources and career building tools is rewarding, what's most satisfying is seeing their confidence build. When you lose so many years, you know, you almost have to play catch up, right? So how do I now use the next set of my life to be the best version of myself that I can be? And that's one of the things that Save Our Sons and Sisters is here to do. It's okay to give people chances. We did attempt to speak to Lamar Johnson directly, but because of pending litigation with the city of St. Louis, his attorneys were advising him to not speak on camera. Kimberly Donahue, First Alert 4.